Hello, I'm Michael Diamond, and you're watching Muscle Central. First thing I want you to do is subscribe and turn on your notifications. All right, I was watching on another YouTube channel. It's, the discussion was that in order to become a top-level pro, you need to abuse steroids. Uh, I got a little bit of an issue with that. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that. Uh, a lot of the pros are abusing, but uh, do you have to abuse? Let's clarify this. Uh, there's a difference between using and abusing. Uh, I'm sure you can understand the difference. Now, do you have to abuse them to reach top level uh, status uh, no first off like anything else bodybuilding is all about genetics uh, either you have the genetics for bodybuilding or you don't some are more genetically gifted you know I'll start with first example I want to work with uh, is Ronnie Coleman. I know some of you, your eyes are popping out of your head when I say that, but whether you want to believe it or not, Ronnie Coleman, uh, turned pro, uh, natural. He won the world championships natural. He competed in Mr. Olympia's natural uh i believe he uh, when he when he hit sixth place in the olympia he was still natural ronnie coleman was a total freak of nature and i'd be willing to bet that at least 98 99 uh by that time, he when he stepped on stage, 98, when he won the Olympia, he was already enhanced at that point. I believe about a year or so before that is when he started. And I don't think I'm willing to bet that he wasn't doing anything in excess. And the fact that he looked the way he did, natural, uh, the way he looked in 98, 99, I wouldn't think he would need to use all, all that much to give him that extra edge. Uh, I don't know about later on. He got kind of, not kind of, really freaking. 203 was something from another planet. But I'd be very confident in betting that very early in his Olympia reign, 98, 99, using very modest dosage, dosages, great, great genetics. Lee Priest, uh, he's been given a lot of flack for uh, uh, what he claims to be his dosages, simply because the way he looked and the numbers he were given in the average person's mind didn't quite match up. You'd have to be doing a lot more than that to look the way you do, the way you did. Now, I have no reason to, when he gives the numbers that he used during his cycles and what he used, I have absolutely no reason not to believe him. Uh, he's been very open about a lot of things, everything, basically. Talks about things that he's done. Uh, and some of these things that he's openly talked about the average person doing those types of things probably wouldn't mention it in public uh, would even mention to most of their friends let alone in public so when he get when he tells some of his stories about some of some of his uh if you will escapades uh, the fact that he's very, very brutally honest with those things 
gives me absolute reason to believe that he wouldn't be on, that he would be totally honest uh, in his drug use. Now, you look at him when he was 14 years old, and I and don't try to argue with me that he was already juicing at that age. Definitely not. You looked at him at 14 years of age. He had a man's physique already. So, obviously, it's a major genetic component. So, to get back to what the topic of this video is, do you have to abuse steroids to be a top-level pro? Yes, some pros may... Let's... Uh, go even further, a lot of pros do abuse. But do you have to, to be a top-level pro? No, it all depends on uh, your genetic makeup. And I guarantee you, uh, a lot of these guys that are using excessive amounts, if they lowered the dosages, changed their protocol, they probably look just as good, maybe even better. Uh, answer the question, plain and simple. No, you don't have to abuse to be a top-level pro. All right, you might agree or disagree with what I've said in this video. Either way, please let me know in the comments section. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please share, and by all means, subscribe. Do not forget to hit that notification bell. This way, every time I put up a new video, you will be notified. Also, if you go to the description box, I have some links there. One link is to the Facebook Muscle Central page. Any questions, you can go there. DM me. I'd be happy to answer them. You're going to find links to Species Nutrition and Mr. G's Protein Snacks. Click on both those links. Go to both those, both those websites and check out all the great products. Also, there's a link to another YouTube bodybuilding channel. Buffy the Iron Slayer, go there, check them out. I think you're going to enjoy the content. Okay, uh, that's about it. Once again, this is Michael Diamond, and I'd like to thank you for watching Muscle Central.